Hollywood. All the shrubs. The shrub it up dub. The wood of Holly. Uh, Janelle asked the question, why do we uh, swing our arms involuntarily? Because uh, her arms are really swinging. And uh, Dev decided to go against the grain and go <laughs> arm to foot parallel. <laughs> Hollywood sign, what do you think? Spicy. 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 <laughs> this is the most famous sign in the world. Uh, it might very well be. Is it smaller or bigger than you thought it was? Um, honestly, about the size that I expected. Really? Yeah, kind of met my expectations. Is that a better shot, guys? Maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna go down here and get some mangoes, though. Or some type of fruit. Yeah, all kinds of fruit down here. Matt and Janelle are still up there. They're trying to get pictures. I think they're there right there, actually. There's Matt. Right. Just saw him. I don't know where he went. Oh, there he is. There's Matt. Got him. <laughs> Perfect outfit for the Hollywood sign. Perfect outfit. The dress with the white vans. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Got him. Is this Kim Kardashian house? You never know. Fields and Calabasas. The back street. Thank you. Um, I just got done uh, checking out the Hollywood sign over here. And so it's probably been pretty good. Uh, about to pick up some mangoes as well. Uh, a nice little um, mangoes actually. Also my first body of water I've actually seen here since uh, since I've been here in California. Um, all in all it's been a great trip so far and uh, I, I can't wait to see what's next. <laughs> What do you think so far, first impressions? It's like a, a little city almost on the pier. Cool. Really pretty. The water looks really calm too. Do you want to see me spit like a man? Yeah. I feel like I'm on the Titanic right now. <laughs> I really do. Like the water below me, the railing, the music. Here we go. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> vlog we are on Santa Monica Beach. Um, how do you feel about Santa Monica Beach? It's a nice beach. It's you know it reminds me of like a Jacks Jacksonville Beach or like one of the East Coast beaches in Florida. I was saying it has the uh, the worst of both beaches because it's got Michigan sand which gets crazy hot and the brown sand. The brown sand yeah on it doesn't have the white sand of Florida, and it doesn't have the fresh water in Michigan. Uh, so it's my least favorite beach. <laughs> <laughs> but it's definitely uh, awesome out here. There's, there's not that many people actually. Um, it feels like there's more people on the pier. Yeah. Um, but we're getting close to sunset, and the water is beautiful, the weather's perfect. It's actually more on the chilly side actually. We're a little bit nervous to go dip our feet in the water. I definitely don't think I'm going in all the way. No way. No. There's people in there all the way. Yes, there's definitely people in there, but I am not going to be one of them. I'm not a Californian. What I like about this beach is that there's just people that are selling stuff left and right. It's very <laughs> convenient, you know? If I'm sitting here on my towel and I want an ice cream, the guy just came by. You just heard him with the little bells. True, it's true. so convenient. Everyone's trying to sell you something in California. It's, it's a, lot like, uh, a lot like New York in that aspect. Sushi. 
Junjuni. We're back at the Kosher Sushi. We like this. After our New York adventure, we're uh, kind of excited to see how this one compares. What'd you get? Look at that. Dev. Ooh. What'd you get, Dev? Mango Madness. Mango Madness. I got the Crazy Tuna. I forget which is which. Crazy Tuna and the Red Fox roll. Red Re Rex Ford. And, and I you got the Hustle and Flow roll. Hustle and Flow. Which is basically uh, salmon. I love it. Some other going in. Wait, I actually don't have my. I lost some of my roll. Here we go. Salt. Mm, salt. Yes, this is my favorite thing. Mm. There's that. There's that. The sweet sauce. That this Thank one. you. Mm. Oh my. What? The lemon's nice. Dev's going in. Hold on, I want to get Dev's bite. All right, guys. This is the second bite. The first one was. Wow, no lie. Get a little dunk. Check little out the soy. inside of that. Ooh. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jen Juni, how's it comparing so far to your New York roll? So, the difference with this one is this one isn't tempura. Mm. I think I prefer tempura. Hmm. I like that fried. Meal, You're learning. But this one is still really good. It's. Yeah, see lots of veggies, salmon, avocado, some other stuff. I don't know. Mm. It's good though. I'm absolutely on a mango rampage right now. I saw I got it from that nice that nice uh, dude at his little Mexican like mango fruit stand. <laughs> this one today on top of this mango. And he's found the mango craze. It feels good, guys. Feel good. I will say a big bonus on this one is you've got these nice big pieces of fish on top that I did not have at the other kosher sushi place in New York. And I will say, I tried some of this lemon. Amazing. Amazing. Very good. Guys, I only have three left. But let's get let's get Matt. Oh, wait, what's that? Ginger, baby. We love the ginger in this house. Mm -hmm. yeah. We saw it. Bada bing, bada zing. Was that good? Dude, I, I wish I could do the ginger. The ginger is it, it ain't for me, Chief. Really? Mm-mm. I'm -mm. strange. Yeah. This one is the red fox roll. It's got a little bit of lemon on it. This is the inside of that one. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's good. The lemon zest brings it to just a whole nother level. Yeah. Honestly, this is one of my favorite rolls. Oh, good save. <laughs> Good, babe. We are gonna finish up. We'll give you a review after we're done. Welcome back to our established segment of car report review. Is that what I'm calling it? I don't remember anymore. <laughs> it's just nice and quiet out here, and the, I will not lie, the Jewish community out here in LA bumping. They, they, they were there was there had to be at least thirty, uh, maybe more. I, I there, maybe it, more. There was crazy. a lot. The whole gang was there. The review. So, review. I give it a four just because I can't eat sushi all the time, right? Mm. Uh, pizza, I can eat a ton of pizza. I can eat, I can do ice cream. I can do all this stuff a lot. But for sushi, I just can't. Mexican food, five all day, right? For that one we did. Respect. But four just because I can't eat it all the time. It was delicious, though. Respectable. The mango, uh, mango, salmon, and imitation crab with avocado and little rice around it and whatnot it was good it was good guys what about you Jen Juni? um i'd probably give it a five i still think i went into it thinking i was going to get a tempura roll a salmon tempura roll and i was trying to match it to what i had in um new york but f on its own so that's why i was a little disappointed because i wanted like a full fried salmon roll but mm. they didn't have that yeah but on its own, it was good. It was fresh and light and very tasty. So I'd give it a five, definitely. I'd smash it all the time if we had it in, in Nashville. Yeah, respectable. Yeah, I, I I would say, I don't know if you guys felt like this. Maybe it was just because of the roll that I got. But, like, it was very juicy. 
Like Oh, mine was too. Like, instead of it, like, I've had a lot of sushi in my life, and sometimes they're, like, um, more firm and maybe a little bit more dry in the rice. I don't know if it was because they had, like, the fresh fish on top or the, the lemon and stuff like that, but it was super juicy. Moist. Very, very moist. Yeah, very moist, moist and very probably juicy. probably a better word, right? Right, which I could I could see how some people may not like that. Um, for me personally, it was very refreshing almost. I, I enjoyed it. My only problem with mine, and I don't know if this is because it was a little bit more moist, is mine just fell apart a lot. Mm. It Plus, wasn't sticking together very well. What, 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 the yum yum sauce, when you dunk it in that though, it, it, it does have a tendency to just like like hold on to it when you're trying to pull it out. I think that may have been part of it. Yeah. Yeah. At the end of the day, for me, good. for me, it was, it was a five all day. It was great. Unlike Dev, I could eat sushi every day of the week. Easy. Every day. Probably lunch and dinner sushi. But I'm like that with pizza and Mexican. So they all get fives for me. <laughs> Cal comp you know what? Anybody who watched the New York vlog, we had awful food. Except for the sushi. Except for the sushi. But most of our reviews were either like threes or fours. Like we were very disappointed with a lot of stuff. So far, Cali. The food's crazy. All fives. The All five. It's been absolute bops over here in California. Tennessee, what are you doing? <laughs> true. Very true. Actually, you know, at this point, we need to just start our own restaurant. It, might as well. I don't know what else to do. Might as well. Might as well. But if you want to go to Cali for some food, it is 110% worth it. It's worth it just for the food. Deuces. <laughs> <laughs> We are on the set of Friends. This is so cool.